All right, what do you think? That one's gonna work? I'll do the same. I think we might be ready. Who's ready? Here's to be ready. Off we go. Where is it? There it is. Going up. Need to go down and double check this corner measurement. Make sure that uh, it is eight foot so that we cut our boards the right length for the cross beams. Look how uh, crooked <laughs> our uh, corner post is here. That was last year, one of the first posts we put in. And oh my God, look at that gopher hole right there. Look at the size of that baby. It's like a condo for six. Yikes. That is almost a ankle breaker for the horses. So deep. Anyways, just want to double check this uh, corner measurement here. Oh, there you go. See, it is nine foot. It's actually 111 inches. Damn it! Why did we screw that up? Well, even more than that, because it's bent on top. Huh. And this one's uh, 101. So we're going to make this one 103. Two hundred threes. And two hundred and elevens. Wow. So windy. Uh, that corner is quite a ways off, but luckily I did that. 203s, 211s.
my lord. Oh my lord. Both our drills are dead. Just started here in the corner. Forgot to put the charges in. This one I'm sure is dead too. Dead. Okay, well I guess we'll go do the garden for a while while we charge all our batteries. Electricity is better. We have done it. The fence is on both corners. The shelter is halfway closed up. We could put some more boards there if we wanted. This is a uh, wind shelter. They can stand in the corner here. If the, blur, if the blizzard comes, we can add some more boards there. We'll have to get another pile. And uh, yeah, there's lots on that corner. That's the corner that really needs it back there. Way back there. I need to go close that door on the shed right now. And then next weekend we'll get the uh, water pump, uh, water bowl ready for the winter. Primed up and ready to go. Alright, thanks for watching this episode of Dannenberg's Acres. Horse protection, wind protection episode. And there's my faithful companion, always there. Always there, right buddy? Right sweetheart? Always there, waiting and waiting, waiting and hanging out. It's like, I know, I'm always here. I'm here for you, just ready for a bump hat. Ready for a bump hat anytime, right? Are you ready for a bump hat anytime? Yes, I know. I know, that's what you live for. You live for the bump hat. You need a brush. Let's go brush you up. Let's go brush you up. All right, look at this, testing the wind. The wind is like gale force out here. Look at this, look how things are blowing. Shannon's hair is hardly moving behind the giant fence. The fence is moving more than your hair. Oh boy, I hope that's, uh, hope this thing is gonna be strong enough. Might have to put another post right here because we got like an eight foot span back to this post way back here. Like this side for sure be strong enough, but once we get wood on this end here, yikes. So I was just saying, as what happens with YouTubers, I wasn't recording there. So I had just finished explaining, or Shannon was explaining, uh, this uh, Ralphie girl had run through this fence this morning. And that entire wire there that's stretched out, that is actually supposed to be all contained inside the handle like that. Uh, generally like that, and then it stretches a bit so you can stretch your wire across. She ran through it this morning, freaked out about something. What did she freak out about? I don't know. Don't even know. It was windy. And Shannon was standing beside her. Luckily, Shannon didn't get trampled. Luckily, Ralphie girl didn't get cut on that string. And luckily, it wasn't a wire. It was a string, and it had that stretch, stretchy spring inside it. So anyways, we just bought another handle, and we'll put it up. So this is how much we got done today. We're going to call it a day after a few hours because it's just too windy. It's been crazy today. Look at that bush. is still whipping around her jacket. Uh, we've been working out in this, but uh, we got that much done in a bit on the other corner. And that's going to make a huge difference in the wintertime. 
to these horses uh, be able to hide behind there and uh, cut a lot of the wind off plus as you saw in another other video we closed in some of the uh, some of the shelter some of the running shelter uh, back there so that makes a big difference and right now they're out in the sunshine just enjoying themselves they don't particularly care it's windy right now uh, but it is too windy for us to continue on and we're sore and tired after putting up that much wood and cutting it all so we'll come back and we'll cut the rest of it oh and that thing's shocking me because I was touching it <laughs> oh the fence is on again Ed so thanks oh and, and she's getting shocked too yeah you better jump over it she's just trying to put it together you know what I have that other handle if you want to just put the handle on or do it later too Oh, maybe she turn it off with the other handle on. Just tie this one on this one? Yeah. You don't want it to go too much. Look at that. That would be like there. Good. There we go. Hey, what was that? The rope in my eyes. So look at that, there we go. Final, the final clamp, the final handle, the final handle attachment. So now that's attached through there and goes back. Can you see my finger? That's attached through the back there to back to the Patriot uh, control module, which is over, oops, which is way over there on the side of the shed. Uh -oh. Sorry. Okay, so the control model is module for the fence is over there uh, on the shed where there's electricity. It comes along here that goes all the way around this paddock. And then there's also an attachment right here that comes to this line. And then this line goes right around the property that we just hooked all up. And we'll do the same for the lower line. And the fence will be done on that side. Getting to be dusk here, so I'm going to call it night. And tomorrow morning we're going to finish this this fence action. Look at the house and the deck looks pretty with the lights on there. Beautiful. First night of fall here, Saskatchewan. It's like... Check it out. I'm uh, being um, the farm wife. I'm the acreage husband. And so this is leftovers. I put uh, leftover pork, sliced it up nice and thin. I put our leftover roasted vegetables from last night. And in the skillet, I'm going to put in potatoes that I have right now softening in the microwave. And these nice mushrooms. Right, Danica? We just like uh, the farm wife's dog, Bonnie. But you're Danica. Yeah, you're cute. You're cute too. I hope Murd doesn't mind me uh, copying her ideas here a little bit. Definitely not as good as hers, but we'll see what happens. So here's one thing I always forget to do on this oven, is press start. I actually put a sign on there that says, press start. And I forget to press that. I turn the oven up, and I put it on the right temperature, and if you don't press start, it just stops and goes back to zero. Anyways, potatoes are almost done. Those are all chopped up. Maybe we're going to use yesterday's leftover plate. Probably shouldn't show that. <laughs> Murd would be proud. Got the potato wedges frying. Ready for those to jump in. I'm going to throw these ones on top because they're pretty cooked. We got the other stuff uh, getting warm inside there. Can't see it very well. 